a grassland curing is a very important element for us to understand in managing fires. Grassland curing basically is looking at the amount of moisture in the grass and uh, the drier the grass is, the worse the fire behaviour potentially can be. Uh, historically in uh, New South Wales and across most of Australia, we estimate grassland curing visually and it's based on how, how the colour of the grass changes. And it, uh, so from green to straw to brown. And that, that curing value then uh, is used to calculate fire uh, behaviour and fire danger indexes. Um, the project that was undertaken through the Bushfire CRC was to look at a way of using satellite imagery and remote sensing to, uh, to estimate that grassland curing. And what the, what's happened now is that the Bureau uses a, a grid and forecast editor and they actually produce a forecast uh, map at a six kilometre grid across the whole surface of uh, at each of the states. And by, by now having this satellite imagery, we can come up with that, that, that good estimate across the, uh, across the whole surface of New South Wales to get our curing values. There, there are some issues with the, the satellite image because what we're, what we're trying to determine is grassland curing uh, for the grassland fire danger index, uh, not forest. When you have a pixel or a grid from the satellite, and generally the satellite imagery covers a 500 by 500 metre square, uh, if you have a, an evergreen shrub or tree within that pixel, it will uh, affect or pollute that pixel and you won't get a true image of what's happening with the grass in that area. So one of the things we needed to do in the first instance was find a way of getting a, a canopy coverage of the state and clipping out all of those, uh, the pixels or grids that had any tree canopy in it so that we were getting the cleanest grids that had just grassland curing. And then finally, um, once we now had that, that image at a 500 metre square resolution, that needs to be fed up into the Bureau's GFE system, the Gridded Forecast Editor system, which is run at a six kilometre grid uh, resolution. So then we needed a process of coming up with an estimate across that six kilometre grid, what is the best uh, curing to put into it. Historically, we would put curing values and they'd often be very high because if we didn't know, we'd, we'd choose the, the higher number, if you're in doubt, it's, it's too risky to, to guess a low number, and, and we'd apply that across the whole of a fire weather area. Now what we can actually do is have a much more realistic estimate of the curing at each place in the landscape, and that has significantly reduced the number of total fire bands and warnings that we're applying because we have much more comfort and a better understanding of how the, the actual fire weather is developing over the landscape.